like and subscribe right now, or else this will be in your bed tonight. r slash ask reddit by planet reddit. Homosexuals of reddit. Do you have some sort of clear cut method or strategy to find out if someone is gay or not that hetero people don't notice? How does it work? I went with a friend to a Kelly Clarkson concert. He told me that there were a lot of gays around us. I say. How can you tell? And don't say it's your gayer because there's no way that can be a real thing. Because we're at a Kelly Clarkson concert. He replied. If the pet shop boys still went on tour. I'd probably be there and hetero the place up. Gayder is more about the fact that straight men are conditioned not to look at other men. And anyways are going to be eyeing the girls around the area more. Gay men are going to catch each other looking a lot because men are always looking. Yes. Generalization. Not always true. Then if they hold each other's gaze. It's completely obvious. There are more subtle things like never being phased by a beautiful woman. Being single with three girls talking to him and he's not nervous or flirting with any of them. Etc. But that's the big one. Edit. Everything I described was tendencies for the purpose of explanation. I never said shit about any individuals or every single man. Everything I said should also be taken in context. If a guy only scopes out other guys or if he only is comfortable around women and isn't paying any attention to them. That's obviously not a real sign of anything. If really getting upset needs to heed my original point. Context is everything. The gay agenda, typically provided for free with the purchase of a gay V, 3 or up, gives great instructions on how to spot a fellow gay in the wild. I've never learned where to get my gaydar recalibrated though. Unfortunately I've had to tune it pretty heavily in northern Florida. But I finally get to leave soon. A guy at a club flashed a dong pic on his phone to me and a group of my male friends. He figured out pretty quickly it wasn't our cup of tea. It was a very effective litmus test. It wasn't a very subtle strategy though. Does anyone like dong pics? I mean even gay guys? Dongs are not the best looking of organs. Edit. For context. I'm straight and a close up or a spread vagina does nothing for me. I figured dong pic would be like that. So he'll also ask do straight guys like close ups of spread vaginas? Hey. I'm a chick and I love dong pics. I even follow a tumblr, I know. I know, grading submitted dong pics. I think penii are beautiful. And before you say it. I've made this comment before, but deleted it later, and my inbox did not rip. Edit. 4 hours later. Zero dong pics. I'm not angry reddit. Just disappointed. I live in San Francisco now. This question really isn't an issue. My old roommate was from San Francisco and said he used to go into gay bars and tell sob stories about his ex-girlfriends. He'd just add lead boyfriend in instead. He's in a committed relationship and just gets gay guys to buy him drinks. I'm sure you didn't add lead your friend instead of you. If you're talking in a group. Accidentally say the name of a famous gay porn actor slash studio. The gays will usually perk up or react. The straights should be oblivious. Unless they are gay for pay. But that's a whole other thing now. I don't know any famous gay porn actors studios. Adam Killian. Dare you go have fun. I know my mate basically assumes everyone is potentially gay and let's sorry mate. Not into it filter out the hetero people. Well. My dad had an admirer back in the late 80s when he was working for Kodak. He stayed at a lot of hotels during travel. This card was sent to him when he was doing business in Hartford. Still cracks me up. My dad is 100% straight. My favorite part of this is that apparently your dad has kept this card for nearly 30 years. That's a hot bod. Bro. Your dad almost scored himself an Adonis. I met a guy in a club whose method was to simply get one of his female friends to find out for him. After grinding on me for about an hour she realized I'm not gay. That was 9 months ago and we're still dating. Edit. 3 years and counting. And he's still waiting in that club. She is still grinding? If you're attracted to the other guy then eye contact is the most subtle way. You can always tell by the way the other guy looks at you like a piece of meat. Straight guys don't look at you like a potential sexual conquest. I'm straight but leer at attractive men. 
Where would I stand? Without further context. In the queue for the female toilets perhaps? Clang clang clang. With the trolleys. No wait. I just love musicals. Went not with. What kind of a monster are you? All homosexuals emit a certain frequency of infrared light from specialized lead cells in their forehead. As they turn their head they sweep the room with this beam. Which is interestingly enough only reflected by specialized cells in other homosexuals foreheads. Captured signals that are reflected back in this way indicate the presence of a potential hookup. The rather awkward moniker that homo engineers have given this mate finding system is Grinder type anticipated yes direction and range or gator for short. This is the correct answer. Can verify. I'm homosexual. I know. Edit. Colon. They purchase their gator from sharper image. They are out of gators. Jim already looked it up. Damn. I'll try Brookstone. Lesbian here. And I would agree with the person who said fingernail length. I look at fingernails. Purses. Shoes. And hair. Then I look at amount of makeup worn. It's a broad generalization of course. Because lipstick lesbians do exist. But generally a woman scoring more than a 2 or 3 on that list, i.e. short fingernails plus practical shoes plus small no purse, I can start to assume I have a chance with. But there are always outliers. Midwestern moms can sometimes score lesbian points in every category and still be completely straight. Today I learned I'm a lesbian? Well, come and get it ladies. I guess. Lesbian here. My nails are super short. I don't wear makeup or carry a handbag and today I wore work walking boots. Shit. I'm a stereotype. Mutter. Homo says what? If they say what? It is game on to make your move. I don't have much luck so I assume I must be unattractive. For lesbians. Length of fingernails. It's kind of a cliche joke but tropes become tropes for a reason. I'm a straight girl who doesn't look very femme and has really short nails because I work in food service. I wonder how many people think I'm a lesbian. Have you tried being a lesbian? It might simplify things for you if you want to keep your nails short. We don't. Or, at least, I don't. I'm young. So this may differ from older guys. But I always assume a guy is straight until said otherwise. I'm openly gay. So other guys don't have to worry about figuring out if I'm gay. But I need them to tell me specifically that they're gay before I make my move. And by tell me specifically they're gay. I mean they pretty much need to sit on my dong until I'm sure they're actually gay. Yeah no. Because people like to joke about being gay these days. Grinder. Also. Facebook. If I have more than 3 mutual friends and all of them are gay. I know you suck coke and it's probably only a matter of time before I have you naked. Your reddit name can also sometimes tip others off. If I can help it. Not even my eventual husband will know my reddit username. The sacred rites of brunch. Yautabi link. Look gays. You got rainbows and unicorns. Don't you take brunch from us too. We own all the portmanteaus I'm sorry to say. We have a very exact clear cut method and strategy. But it's a big homo secret that we can never divulge. Nice try. Exactly. Page 1 of the gay agenda. Local stealth method. I live in Vermont. I can pretty much tell if you're gay or not by how many mutual friends we have on Facebook. The way my gaydar works. There are some people I can tell are like me, gay. It's just a weird feeling that I get where I can just tell that we have something, our sexuality, in common. There are plenty of guys that are a total mystery. Though. Eyes are one of the best indicators. Try this. When an obviously attractive person walks by somebody. Pay attention to where they look. Do they give them the full body down and up glance? Do they keep splitting their attention between whatever they were focused on earlier? Do they ignore them out of the? Best ballsy method. Just ask. Either asking them hey. Do you like girls? Guys? Both? Or just ask them out. Gator is honestly kind of a thing. As bullshitty as it sounds. You meet enough queer people. You start to pick up on the little things they do that make them different from the typical straighty trademark sign. 
I find people that make a real effort to be inclusive of other sexualities or genders are usually part of that demographic themselves. For guys it's really easy. At least in my past experiences. Gay B. B is lesser so. Guys are usually really friendly and upbeat. And they have a certain persona that's hard to explain. Usually I test it by pointing out a hot guy and seeing what they say. This might seem unfair. But if they call me girl I just know. Stereotypes are stereotypes for a reason. But hey. You can't always judge people by the way they look or act. Girls are hard. Especially since straight girls started wearing plaid and snapped backs. Side note. A backwards snapped back is almost always an indication. But it is not a simple task. For one. Girls are complicated. She could be 100% straight. Curious. B. Pan. Etc. But there's almost no way to tell without asking. The fingernails thing is pretty valid. But fake nails are a thing. It's one thing to be able to tell. But knowing is a whole other ballpark. I remember I hung out with this chick that seemed like a textbook lesbian. And she turned out to be straight as a board. So it's pretty complicated. But it can be simplified. If all else fails. Straight up ask M. Girls are hard. Especially since straight girls started wearing plaid and snapped backs. As far as I can tell. There's a never ending cycle of lesbians starting some sort of fashion trend to identify each other. Then straight girls cooped it. I'm a straight male watching from the sidelines. Artificial red hair was a clear lesbian broadcast. When I started college. By junior year. The incoming straight freshman had started doing it. So the lesbian switched to green. That got cooped it within 6 months. So they switched to blue. But then the straight girls just started doing all sorts of colors. I think the beauty supply stores had caught on. At this point. And jumped the trend. The lopsided. Side mullet half shaved thing was definitely a lesbian exclusive. Once upon a time. Not anymore. I think most women. Even straight women. Are actually dressing to look pretty for other women more reason than men. Women pay a lot of attention to what other women are wearing and what other women find attractive on each other. So when the lesbians set a new trend among themselves. The straight women just naturally copy it. The best way is if they continue to hold eye contact with you. Especially with a smile. Secondly. I know many gay guys are not feminine. However. I have never met a feminine man that was not gay. It may be a stereotype but in my experience. It holds true. The third method is described by Shakespeare's quote. The lady doth protest too much. Methinks. In other words. The person goes out of their way to say they are not gay. I met one guy that was continually discussing how masculine he was. How he definitely was not gay. Etc. Why else would he spend so much thought to disproving his homosexuality? It was an issue because he was gay and afraid to be found out. I was going to hit on him in private but never got the chance. Lol. To that third point. Okay Mac. Listen guys. I know we've never acknowledged this as a group. But Mac is gay. Right? I live in a pretty bigoted area and most guys here would take it as a threat if you hit on them so I use the apps. Scruff. Grinder. Okay Cupid. Since I don't feel like getting attacked or into a fight just because I thought a guy was attractive and asked him out. As for some kind of secret signal. No there really isn't one. I'm not attracted to stereotypical gay guys that everyone can tell is gay, so it's harder for me unless I use the apps. The only semi-indicator is a guy my age, 30s, who isn't married. Who doesn't look at women as they walk by but instead looks at the guys. Even that isn't a clear indicator since he could do what I do and just pretend he's people watching. This thread is super entertaining interesting to me. I'm not a lesbian but I get mad when I've gone to lesbian bars or clubs and nobody wants to dance with me or talk to me. It's like I had a big sign on my head that said not gay. So nobody bothered with me. I blame my lesbian friend who danced with me but checked out other girls the whole time. I was even wearing converse with a dress. Which I thought made me blend in. It must be something instinctual. The way Alan knows her cubs from the others. I blame my lesbian friend who danced with me. This is so annoying. I'm a lesbian and live with another lesbian. We're not together. 
people always think we're a couple when we go out together. She dresses femininely but has short hair like this and I have long hair but dress masculine. We constantly lie to cock block each other. I believe the term you are looking for is clamjam. I try to maintain eye contact really. Still in high school so results aren't really accurate right now. We'll catch you up in 20ish years. The same way as straight people assess if somebody is checking them out. There's little else to it. No magic touch. Gaba. Secret handshake. Dot. Straight guys are wearing fitted pants and getting undercuts and gay guys are wearing plaid shirts and levy and growing beards. How can I tell except to ask? Thanks for watching. Subscribe for 3 videos a day.